guys welcome back to my channel my name is Christina and in today's video I have for you a wet n wild first impression product review um, well I should just say first impression yeah <laughs> Uh, but before we get started with the video, let me go ahead and let you guys know that I do make these types of videos all the time. I do products review, makeup tutorials, hauls, lifestyle video, and, and also vlogs. So if you guys like these types of videos, please consider subscribing. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, guys. So on January 2018, we've seen in social media that these Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes hit the store. Because they are new products, they are really hard to find. I find that a lot of the drugstores only have four palettes, one color of each. For instance, in my drugstore, I bought mine from Walgreens. They don't restock till Thursday, so I will have to wait another week if I didn't look around on other stores. So they are really hard to find, but the the let me go ahead and show you what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about. They are the same eyeshadow colors that they had previously. They they redesigned them, have a new formula, any new look. So the new look looked like this. How many they have? One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four eyeshadows, and then two transition eyeshadows. The eyeshadow that I'm wearing on my eyes today is the one from the comfort zone. I only bought three. And the three that I purchased was this one, like I said, the comfort zone. I bought this one, it's called Nude Awakening. And the last one that I bought is Rose in the Air. And I purchased this one because it reminded me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I have not used these shadows yet, so I do have plan a separate video for that. I'm gonna be comparing both um, palettes and you guys will see the opinions I have in comparison to each other. Uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna let you guys know this is what it looks like. It have these beautiful shades. I didn't mention the prices. They run for $5.99 on the website. I had a good deal when I did purchase my shadows. I purchased them for, yeah, it was $3.99 because it was on sale. And then I had some points in Walgreens, so I redeemed them. So I purchased the highlighter as well, which is this one right here, the Hello Halo. Ooh, that's pretty cute. And it's in the color Gilded Glow. 306B and it looks like this. I'm super excited to compare it with my favorite highlight of the moment. As you guys know in every video and every makeup tutorial I always have or I always use this highlight from Wet n Wild, the Precious Petals. It's my ride or die. I love it. It's affordable and lasts all day and it's really pretty on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and compare it. Oh actually this one has like a more of a peachy tone. Peachy pink. This one is more like a golden yellow color. All right, cool. I want to go ahead and try these two out. Um, and I believe this one is also $4.99 or $5.99. I will go ahead and list the price down here. I'm going to insert some clips of me swatching this on my hand. And at the end of the video, you guys will see the application of the Comfort Zone eyeshadow palettes. The only thing I did want to mention is that you got to be careful when opening these packaging because as you guys see right here, cheap plastic. So I feel like this could break any time. So you got to be super careful when using these types of eyeshadows. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the swatches. color medium tawny so the concealer has been applied so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the palette and I'm not gonna set I'm actually gonna just set it with the um, eyeshadows that we'll be using today like I'm gonna be using this orangey nice tan color and I'm gonna apply that up here okay so I feel like it's very pigmented it's blending very nicely all right so that's that all right so uh, we're gonna go into the darker transition color so we can put it right on this crease area right here. All right, I'm gonna use this one from Real Techniques. This one is a dome shadow brush. And like I said, I'm gonna use this burgundy type of color down here. So I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and dig into my blue color that I'm dying to try. So that's that's it for that blue color and I'm gonna use this color right here I'm gonna use this one right here So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and I'll be back. This is the finished look. I applied some eyelashes, some lipstick, and now I'm gonna go ahead and try the highlight. Oh wow, <laughs> the applicator is huge. I kind of like that. Okay, now I don't know if I should pl apply that directly to my face or, oh it feels really soft. Go ahead and do this. Oh, this is beautiful. Very pretty. Oh, oh God, I think I went overboard now. Maybe I can put a tip on my nose. Because you guys know I love that glow on my tip of my nose. Okay. I like it. Ooh, it feels like very moussey. That's what it feels like. Okay, I think I applied too much. Highlight gone wrong, okay. Blend that in. Ah! Ooh, guys, who is that? Now, do you set this? I have no idea. I should have researched. This is obviously a first impression. <sighs> Sorry if I'm blinding you right now. <laughs> Corny joke, I know. Okay. You guys know I love Wet n Wild's products. They're cruelty free. They have great pigmentation. They last really long. And not only on their makeup items, but also on their nail polishes. I have a collection of nail polishes um, that I've collected through the years. So. Um, nothing but good things to say about Wet n Wild. And with that being said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, you guys. We're, we're so close to hitting 200 subscribers. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with everyone so we can hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. I Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the 190 subscribers that I have at the moment. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. With the highlight, I'm in love with the highlight. <laughs>